Goodbye, sir. So that guy's a sniper. Gotta watch out. Because he is uh, going to be looking for me to get in straight lines. So we're just going to go with uh, pretty much just playing the waiting game and doing where applicable. And I guess this is just the tactic to use when you're on a map like this is run around and be a chicken. more shot I'm dead ah two people on me no wonder curses so now mitochondria has the flag which works well for me because that's yet another person at the points they're gonna be accumulating on that I don't have to worry about Alright, he is getting away though. Kind of messed up my skiing there. Blew it a little bit too early. I'm still, like honestly, I'm still getting used to the fact that you can hold space and ski over flat terrain. That's just, I don't know. See, I feel like that should have just done so much damage to me. I'm still used to the original tribes, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really played tribes since then. So there may have been some adjustments that I just am not familiar with. But we're going to chase this guy down nonetheless. And since we have skiing, should be a little bit faster. And as I get more and more used to this game, I'll probably have my discs land a little bit more frequently. I feel like they're in the ballpark now, but uh, it could definitely use some work. <laughs> Birds are a nice touch. And I think the rate of your speed that you carry over when you're skiing kind of also depends on the angle at which you impact the ground. If you come in with a nice smooth landing like that, you're way more likely to carry a lot of your momentum than you are if you come on at like a steep angle like I just did. So what we're going to do is come up here to the very top. Hold down space and let it go. So you see, now I'm carrying about 112 kph. It's not too bad. Still, I'd like to have a little bit more. Got to watch out for the trees. As this guy is just being an annoying pain in the butt. This is probably... Actually, this is probably a good time to... Uh, oh, man, I don't have a beat on him. I was going to say this would be a good time to throw down a nuke, but... Uh, well, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I, I guess that was not too bad. Probably would have been more effective if it were a real game. And not... Rabbit! Which actually, I have to say, is probably more fun with a few people rather than having a bunch. Ah, stupid rocks. Oh, no, epic steel. So we'll see if we can pick this guy up, although we only have four discs left.
And it's weird, something else I'm kind of getting used to as we play this match is the fact that jump isn't space. Jump initiates skiing. Right click and jetpack are are uh, or jump and jetpack are both bound to right click. So it's it's kind of weird doing that. Like in in Tribes One, we used to uh, you know you'd get like a jump for a little bit of extra speed at the top of a hill or whatever. But now it's like if I do that, I end up kind of messing up my. My jump. It's it's weird. I can't really explain it. But I figured despite the fact that you're going to be essentially watching me transition during this video into a different different uh, version of Tribes, I still think that you guys can take away enough from this video to determine whether or not this would be a fun match for, or fun game rather for you. So I think what we're going to do is just finish up this match and nail him. And then we'll probably just call it good. No, Talon! Although I really should just die soon. I only have two discs left. And that's something else. When you are... When you are um, low on discs, don't throw them away like I just did, kind of uh, hoping to hit the target. Right now I did it just because it's like, eh, whatever, you know, really who cares at this point. It's uh, not going to matter too much, but when you're playing in an actual match, those resources are very important. And honestly, while I can appreciate the fact that uh, this is a good way to live for as long as possible, it really doesn't make for that enjoyable of a video. So I think for the last 10 minutes, I'm just going to wish this guy the best, as it looks like he's going to be pulling ahead with a lead and pretty much just running the whole time. So that's not going to be very fun. Let's go ahead and do one more capture the flag, and we'll just stick around for about 10 minutes or so. There was one more thing I was going to tell you. Oh yeah, if you if you do end up actually buying the game now, you get 33% uh, you get off of, I guess, the equivalent amount of gold. And that's how I ended up with being able to buy the character classes that I did. And you also get uh, one month of the VIP boost, plus... You get one more thing. Oh god, what was it? Oh yeah, one more one more cool thing is if you get it now, all of the stats that you earn carry over for when the game goes live. So it's not like an MMO where they're like, oh cool, well you get to beta test, but we're gonna wipe your characters when the game comes out. No. What I'm doing right now will still be available when the game actually goes live, retail, whatever that ends up being. Ah, close. He's going to run away. So apparently, apparently left alt is basically just a call out. And of course they have Shazbot, as well as a full set of voice commands, which you can see. Uh, when will you learn? You're gonna kill him? You're gonna kill him? Yeah, I think you're gonna kill him. Nah, I'm gonna kill him. Ah! Bullocks! Hit him! Oh well. I was hoping those two guys would run over top of the flag, then I can hit him with one disc. Nice, uh, nice hit animation. I like that a lot. 
how it kind of shatters the glass a little bit. And I think, yeah, I think it is going to take me a little while to get used to the whole holding space the entire time. Because it seems to me like, unlike in previous game, well, previous, previous iterations, it feels like skiing is this tangible, manageable resource. And I think it's largely because of this bar. Like, in the previous games, yes, it was absolutely essential. But it was never as quantified as having as it is now with having an actual meter that you can kind of judge and just you know understand the whole uh, system a little bit better Alright, so we're just going to head over and we'll hang out for another five minutes or so and then I'm going to go ahead and close the video because I think actually my hard drive's starting to get full. All these guys just keep on zipping by. I mean, I can't blame them. I understand what they're trying to do, but... Huh. Well, that's certainly is swarming with people. Whoa! Oh, that's a turret. Eh, screw you, turret. That's not a turret. That's a person. That was a turret. No, that was a person. Oh, okay, so they just have a bunch of sniper people. Uh, so let's see. Before we go, what do we got? We got uh, Juggernaut, Muter, or <laughs> Muter. I was reading Fusion more together. Regen Pack, Super AP Upgrade, Force Field, Saber Launcher, Chain Gun, Automatic Shotgun. <laughs> automatic Shotgun. Well, this is the one you'd want to go for indoors. I'm going to say that let's go with this one. So let's buy it using gold. Yes. Juggernaut. All right. Whoa. Nice. So we'll X this bad boy. See just how freaking big we are. Oh, come on. All right. Well, no, we're gonna do we're gonna do the beginning of the next match. Just that way we can see the heavy. I did not buy that just to be denied. I feel like I accomplished next to nothing in this game. But having played it now, and despite the fact that I am I, pretty rusty. I mean, again. I haven't played this game since, well, Renegade was popular back in, oh god, I don't even know when, 99, 2000, 2001, something like that. And, uh, yeah, despite that, this is really, really fun. I, I can definitely see a lot of potential. For those of you who have not seen, there have been some, uh, some pretty intense commentated tribes matchups. Again, just previous versions. I'll see if I can dig one up, and if I can, I'll put it in the video description. Alright, so what do we got? You are on Blood Eagle. 2400 hit points, 90 jetpack. Okay, yeah, that's pretty appropriate. So here's the zoom. I think this is the mortar. Yes, it even has the original uh, kind of spirally graphic behind it. Here's the disc launcher. It feels like it's a little bit bigger explosion. Maybe it's just me. So we have the mortar and the disc launcher. Uh, number one, tactical strike. Number two, ammo supply. And what else do we have? We have... Grenade. 
only one of those. And I think that's all of the buttons that I can press that would actually do anything. Yes. I will decline my assignment. And I will try to find a weapon. So I think what we should do is try to get up here and start building a little bit of momentum. Come up here, hit the jetpack. You want to try to let go of it so that way you can catch the downward slope, which can be difficult sometimes. So let's see if we can get in here and actually do uh, do some damage to the interior. Uh-oh, probably shouldn't be here. Let me hit you. <laughs> Alright, well, there's two down. Now head down here, and we'll mess up the generator. Good night, sweet Sally. Good night. I'm actually uh, doing pretty decent on hit points right now, actually. I am kind of surprised about that. Regenerating rather quickly. I keep expecting to see somebody pop up through here and be like, Oh, hi! Good night. I think... Oh, man. I, uh, I launched that last mortar in the hopes that I would be able to take out the generator before I died but it appears that uh, my actions were in vain. Oh, but I got Generator! Woo! And I have access to the Tactical Strike, which I think will be a pleasant addition to our next assault. There we go. Now I'm going to build up a lot of speed. Right. Let's oh come on. Come on, fatty. I'll tell you what, let's just paint it right there. Uh yeah. It's not terrible, I guess. Hehehe. <laughs> Ah! Oh. No! Don't be engaging right here. This is a very bad spot to be engaging. <laughs> oh! God bless cliff sides. That time I know I hit him. I keep hoping that he's going to end up running into that, but nope. That just kind of, uh, I think that kind of displays the whole idea of... You kind of need to think ahead of your opponent and then assume that he is thinking ahead of you as well. 
and try to just play that kind of mental chess. Which does not include dropping a my or a, a mortar at my own feet. That being said, I have no idea where that guy went. And then, of course, there's always the luck of the blind shot, which, you know, never happens. But it's always funny to do, because, you know, if you play it long enough, statistically speaking, you'll probably end up eventually nailing somebody like this. And it looks like this is not going to be one of those times, but that's okay. <laughs> I did hit him, though. <laughs> yep, and there's his response. Oh, well, if you're just going to come over here, then... Go up, or you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. And of course, he's running away. That's cool. Just be a jerk. This guy is really beefy, though. I will say that much. Oh, what are you doing? Are you coming? Is that you? The problem with that was that he had better mobility... I had average aim with my disc launcher, very slow cooldown, and he, I was, since I was a large, slow-moving target, that machine gun was very effective at taking me out. And apparently that got me a blue plate special. So I think next time I spawn, I would prefer to spawn as a ranger. We'll see how that goes. Because now I feel while this is pretty awesome, I think that the mobility is somewhat of an issue for my playstyle. I just prefer to go fast. And this is inside the base. I like the water. That looks nice. And here I am just totally going on and on about this game, even though I said I was going to quit the video like 10 minutes ago. But you know what? I'm having fun. If you want to quit watching, feel free. If not, we're still going to hang out here. As we slowly make our way up, I'm sure there's probably one person that has been playing this non-stop that's come out and has already become way more familiar with the whole skiing thing than I have and is likely looking at this video and just raging at the fact that they are better at it than me. Again, I would like to give chase, but it's just, you know, not going to happen. <laughs> 
got the kid. Got him too. All right. I'll take it. I definitely feel like I'm playing a heavy like I like I would a light. Ah, oh, close. Where in the world? Oh, you. Oh, well, I'm on a killing spree, I guess. I think it's going to end right here. I feel like it is. Yep, he finally got me. Seven, uh, 77 hit points. So what do we spawn with now? We have, it looks like, an assault rifle of sorts. Sweet. Decent damage. I like it. Looks like ammunition, when you pick up one of those packs, ammunition is replenished regardless of the type of class that player had. So let's check out the supply drop next. Is the circle complete? I expect there to be supply... Nice! Very nice. Okay, so yeah, it's just a mobile resupply station. Very simple, straightforward. Step on, and I think since I have full ammo right now, it's going to be like, nope, but, uh, yeah. And here's my okay gun. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's like a grenade launcher of sorts. So I think this would be what the modern warfare people would enjoy, this gun right here. I hit him twice with that. Oh, when you hold shift with this gun, it won't let you fire. It just acts as uh, binoculars. And I still can't figure out why my pack won't activate. Hmm. Uh, you know, I, I like this gun. I think it's a good thing to have. I just don't know if it's going to be something that I personally enjoy having in this match. Just doesn't seem like my style. I see the inventory station still hanging strong. It would be nice if we could aim just a little bit with this. jerk and steal that pack even though I only get the assist. Ah, that one was my kill though. Oh, 
Oh, yes, finally a vehicle. No, how do I get in? I I don't. I don't. All right. Still, that's really freaking cool. Oh my god, I want to go back to base now and get one. I have enough credits. Looking at the score, I'm in third place. I probably have 11 deaths as well, but... We have Companion Cube in our team, so I can't really say too much. God, I know I'm not like... I know I'm not acting like all ee right now, but... Like, inside, I'm definitely like, eee! Uh, let's go with... Let's go with Shrike. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so, Mouse, uh... Mouse is definitely reversed. Kind of weird. I never have liked that, but we'll go with it. Oh my god, this is so cool. Just flying around in general, I'm probably just going to get shot at and die. I wonder, can I do a barrel roll? No, I can't because we lost. Oh, man. Alright, so I'm going to leave it on that note because I think I've seen enough now to where I just want to spend some time experimenting and becoming familiar with the game. Um, again, the purpose of this video is not so much to be one of those, oh my god, I'm amazing at this game videos, but it's more of a, hey, this just came out, and I think that it has a lot of potential. Here's what I found out so far, and you guys can be the judge for yourself. Do you think this is a good game for you? Personally, I think I'm going to be playing this more, building up my stats, looking at uh, what we have here. I did manage to get quite a few things this time, including Generator, which is pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure that uh, a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this game for some time. I would say I definitely have. I've been following it for a while and uh, kind of keeping tabs on it every now and then. I'm glad to see it's coming out the way it was. It definitely feels like, just playing it, it feels like a Tribes game. And that is what I was hoping for. You know. The, the skiing meter, definitely awesome. Gonna have to get used to this. I'll, gotta get used to a lot of features. I mean, skiing horizontally through water, wasn't quite expecting that. But I think that I can definitely learn to appreciate these mechanics and master them with time. As I'm sure you can too. So I will hopefully see you in the next video. Again, if you feel so uh, inclined, subscribe. You know, that helps me out a lot. Rate the video as well. You know, all that stuff that every YouTube ever has, uh, you know, asked for. That stuff actually does help out uh, the players. So, yeah. Hopefully we can kill this guy without my gun acting funky. Where'd you go? And, uh, yeah, anyways, so I'm just gonna, I have a feeling I'm just gonna keep playing for a long time. So I'm gonna quit this video before I, I lose control. Ah! Tribes!